it is time for the next job. So Gast is the creator of the Trash World News Magazine. He's the one who kind of got us going again along with Ember here. Uh, he has a debt to the copy shop and we decide that we're gonna hack into the copy shop and pay off his debt for him. Not actually, because we also don't have money, but we can at least get, erase the, the record of his debt for him. So what we're going to do is I come in here, I have two execution agents that are gonna handle this. Uh, file 300 contains Gast's uh, customer ID. The 308 ID is, refers to Gast, we're gonna need that. And you can see that in file 200 they enumerate the balances for each person so 788 owes 40 dollars and 56 cents they have the dollar and the cents in separate values and we can see in set 7308 owes 427 dollars and 20 cents a good amount of money uh we're gonna but we're gonna erase the debt of this 201 is where they log payments that they receive uh and so that has the date the customer ID and then the amount that's paid. So we're going to need to add a record that has the current date, the customer ID for Gast, and then the amount that he owes. And so there's going to be some cooperation between XA and XB to actually pull this off. What XA is going to do is he's going to head over into here. He's going to grab file uh, 200, I believe. Yep, he's going to grab file 200 and he is going to look for Gast's record to find out how much does he owe. Uh, B, in the meantime, is going to grab uh, Gast's customer ID, pass that over to A to help A find Gast, but B is also going to need to know that as well. So let's get to that point. A grabs 200, and B has copied the ID in X and also sends that over to XA, so now they both know what the ID is. B is then going to drop that file and head on over to uh, cross link 800 and then across link 801 because there is a date register. This is where we're going to get the date for the payment record. A in the meantime is currently cycling through the 200 file looking for uh, a customer ID that matches Gast. And one thing that I could do to speed this up uh, would be I'm currently seeking just one of like test F equals X. I'm only I'm checking every value here, but I technically only need to be checking these values here. So if you wanted to try and implement a seek in here to try and uh, avoid having to check, you know, is the customer ID equal to 40? It's never going to be equal to any of these numbers here. So you could skip these, but that's an optimization that you could take a look into to doing. But Right now, XA is just kind of dumbly searching through, looking for Gast's customer ID. Meanwhile, B is going to grab the current date and it's going to save the date in T. Remember, we have two different registers. We have X and we have T. Uh, with the date in hand, XB is going to head to uh, grab file 201, the list of payments, You're going to seek to the end and is going to copy first in the date and then Gast's customer ID. Meanwhile, XA has managed to find Gast's record. So what XA is going to do is XA is going to pass over. This is how many dollars Gast owes for B to put into the payment. And then how many cents Gast owes. Then XA is going to go seek minus two, jump back to those numbers and is going to replace them with zero. XB has finished transcribing the amount paid. He's done. He can stop. XA zeroes out the numbers and then he is done. And we can repeat this. And obviously the location of gas in the file is going to change each time. The amount that he owes is going to change each time. Uh, the date might even change each time. I don't know if they keep the date consistent or not. Who knows? Probably is the same. Uh, but that will clear out all of Gast's debt and he can go on to publish the next issue of Trash World News. So look forward to that in your inbox. Easy peasy. Not great on the, on the cycles, but I'm here to, to learn and have fun and hopefully teach a little bit.